Hey everybody, Reds fan 1979 coming back at you with a special baseball card video. Hope everybody's had a great week. It's been quite a rainy week here, but on Sunday it's Halloween and we're looking to take the kids trick or treating in my parents' neighborhood tonight because our neighborhood's not really conducive to that. So, got a couple of recent pickups to show you. Also, this cool Joey Votto um, fat head thing that um, last night I went and hung out with JY Sports Card Guy and we watched uh, some of the World Series, grabbed some pizza, and just uh, tried to catch up. We live about 35 minutes away, so it's not too bad. Um, so actually, let me start with that. So I, get, I had a couple of India cards I gave him, and this was cool. This was something he got at one of the Reds games. Um, it's like stickers and stuff, but i um, going to try and keep it nice. Usually I just collect cards of Otto for the PC, but anytime like other things come along that are kind of unique, I like to have those, so that'll be really cool. So thanks JY for that. And a couple other recent pickups. This is a gold label class three, so now I have the class one, two, and three for the base card super PC. And then realized I was a couple of Allen and Ginter X's that I didn't have. This is the 2019 one, I think that's pretty cool. Nice, uh, sharp-looking card there. So, this one I think I got from Sport Lots, and then uh, this card from eBay. Got a couple other pickups here. Um, this one here <coughs> was from somebody I met um, on a Facebook group, and uh, one of these cards he had, and uh, then he just sent me an extra. So, I do have this card, but this is really nice top's finest flashbacks but this is the card that he sent me that he got in his box the uh, top's chrome ben baller of Votto. so that was nice he just sent that to me so let me uh take his letter off camera uh mike olson uh from minnesota thank you sir really appreciate your generosity i actually need to get the 2020 ben baller because i don't have that one either so i kind of have mixed feelings about it it seems a little gaudy to me but you know, hey, it's it's for the PC. It's a card I didn't have, so pretty cool there. These are just really cool looking cards. They remind me of Finest, you know, from the 90s. So pretty cool, although I didn't really collect those. And then this here is a little lot that I bought from a guy named Jeff on one of the Facebook groups. He has really good prices. He usually opens a lot of stuff and sells singles, but this was... A really good deal. Oops. Let me see if I can get the tape off here. But these three Bowman Chrome rookies were five dollars for this lot of three, which I thought was a pretty good deal. So I picked three of the rookies that I thought um, would be good for this year. So we have a Jake Cronenworth. Nice Jazz Chisholm there, and then a Cabrian Hayes. So all three of those for $5. I thought that was, and then uh, 50 cents to ship it in a PWE. So I thought that was a really good deal. So thanks, Jeff. All right, and then a couple of really exciting announcements coming up. Uh, a couple of the next videos on my channel you guys will want to tune into. Um, I did a case break reds team case break of panini mosaic this year and i hit some really nice cards so once i get that in from snodzilla breaks thanks pat um all i want to show you guys because i got some really really nice cards and also um the um my psa submission return group submission with dustin bellinger came back and he did the reveal yesterday morning and i was able to see my eight cards and um, I actually did a little better than I expected, which is awesome. There's a couple of awesome Votos in there that you guys will want to tune into. A couple of red refractors numbered to 10. One of them is a pop one, and one of them turned out to be a pop two. So really excited to show you guys that. So hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend. Uh, happy Halloween, and please like, comment, subscribe.